So in case you have seen my last video, I was talking about how I'm off routine and when I'm off routine, I know to have too much break. Planning is the first step of me getting back into routine. I stick with it like for um, three to four days up to one week and uh, this is something that is really, really helping me to stay focused. Um, maybe it's just a problem because <laughs> I want to do too much things. The planning for me, me means, okay, now it's time for this. Focus on this thing and for like an hour or two I will stick with it and then I can do something else that I also well really, really like. I often get the commentary, you are so creative, you can find a solution for everything, but I find that it's not so easy for me to be like focus on one thing when I have like always multiple ideas in my head and one th in one moment I'm with that idea, in another moment I'm with another idea and um, maybe that's why the planning system works so good with me because I schedule myself to do something and I give myself the deadline. I love the digital planning and I'm not trying to move from it, but some things I still have like to-do list, but physically to-do the list that I can that I can put on my desk. It's like a reminder, you, do, you need to do this thing. When I get in the zone, I know to be so forgetful. Uh, to the point where I forget to drink water or I won't hear uh, the notifications on my phone nor on my watch. I'm like completely ignoring all of that. And I know it's not something that I should be proud of, but... My next step is to clean my working space. It is very important to me because I believe that is clear uh, workspace, clear mind. I function better with the declutter uh, the workspace around me and I love to move around so I always try to be as minimalistic as possible. I want to minimize the clutter that doesn't focus me enough to stay on track with what I want to achieve. And as a reward, I always include the rewards in my achievement and my goals and milestones. It is something that I think it's must. You, you need some like mm, motivation and you need something like Oh, you did good. I did good. That that's good. Let's reward something. Even if you, when you were a child, in case I got a good grade and I do well on exams or uh, or something, uh, I will get rewarded. So when you look at the reward, and then okay, I deserve that, and I can move on to the next step. That will be a little bit harder, but it's okay because I got this. I reward myself with a second monitor. I always want to have the second monitor, but then uh, when I done my homework, I was like indecisive between 27 inch and 32 inch, but at the end I have decided to go with uh, 27 and I think I decided to very, very well. I often have multiple programs open and I have one like for reading and writing and it's vertical and it set my mind okay this is something uh, for like uh, read write and important stuff and then I can have here my selection over some other stuff that are 
that I wanted more in focus and I want to take the notes from this from point A to point B or from point B to point A. I really prefer one uh, vertical screen or and one horizontal screen and I have a one additional screen when I am on iPad and I wanted the third screen. I don't prefer uh, having on my desk uh, too much of the uh, stuff around me, especially personal stuff. I like to have like clean uh, desk uh, with a few things that I really need. For example, my A um, AirPods. During the editing, I prefer to have my AirPods uh, on my ears, mostly because I edit when my family is around in the house and I don't want to be distracted uh, by things they are doing in the house and these uh, airports have the noise cancellation and I really love them. Here I have my mic and my lamp so I get um, enough lighting from the wall back on the screen when it is uh, really, really dark. Inga breaks allow your brain to reset for your next task. This is one of my favorite parts of me walking. It's just listening to the sea and thinking. Just clear my head. Life on the island. You gotta love the sea, right? <laughs> Sometimes it is a little bit too much, but it's okay. I will live. Key points for me to go back into my routine are planning, clean my space, be organized, enjoy and having a lot of breaks so I don't burn out again. Thank you for watching, see you next time!